Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is now just days away, people. Literally the day after tomorrow, Friday, June 2nd, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will hit theaters. I'm so excited for this film. I believe I'm going to be seeing it either Saturday or Sunday, probably Sunday, but we'll see. Of course, I'll do a review on it and everything. Speak that reviews, early reviews and uh, first reactions are coming out from last night. Everything sounded great. People are saying it's as good as the original, if not better, if not one of the best comic book movies of all time. People comparing it to The Empire Strikes Back and The Dark Knight. It's insane. I'm so excited for it. And of course, Sony, they are going hard with the promotion on this film. And one of the things they just did was release a brand new poster, but it's not like any of the other posters because this right here features, of course, Miles Morales, but also Tom McGuire Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland as well. Now, this is not, not a movie specifically for this film, but more so just for Sony's Spider-Verse in general. This right here is a poster highlighting all four of their cinematic movie Spider-Men. And this is actually pretty interesting, though, because obviously Tom and Miles are, you know, current Spider-Men, I guess you could say. Andrew and Toby are former Spider-Men, or are they? Because they just returned in No Way Home. The door has been open for them retur to return again. Will it happen? One of the big rumors and theories was that we would see them appear in this movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. There were rumors about that. We already know uh, there's going to be a live-action portion of the film featuring a cameo of Mrs. Chen from the Venom movies. Could we get a live-action cameo from Tom, Toby, or Andrew, or all of the above? Maybe, maybe not. I think that's something they may save instead for the sequel, or the threequel, Beyond the Spider-Verse, which, of course, comes out next year. So this is uh, just really interesting. Also, just really cool looking poster. I mean, I love um, these promo art looks at these four Spider-Men, um, you know, all unmasked and standing together there, seeing the differences in their suit and everything. Uh, but all four of them, they are all Spider-Men. And I also love seeing, uh, you know, the Spider-Verse stylized art around them as well. But, you know, that's the big message about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and probably across the Spider-Verse as well is that literally anybody can be Spider-Man. You don't have to be Peter Parker. You can be a Miles Morales or a Miguel O'Hara or a Spider-Gwen or well, Gwen Stacy or even a Peter Porker, a Penny Parker. You know, you can be whoever you are and you can still be Spider-Man because it's not about being Peter Parker. It is about the choices you make and your lifestyle. If you go by the rule that with great power, there must also come great responsibility, then you too can be Spider-Man. So it's a really powerful thing. I, um, I love this poster. Um, this gets me really excited again. I don't think we'll actually see these live action Spider-Man in Across the Spider-Verse, but maybe next year in Beyond the Spider-Verse and maybe see them return in something like Secret Wars or Kang Dynasty, something like that. Toby and Andrew are definitely coming back at some point. But for now, guys, let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? What do you think about this brand new poster? And do you think we will see any of the live action Spider-Man in this movie? So thanks for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.